Hello, my name is Michael Rather from the Digital Photography Connection. And in today's PSD Tuts exclusive video, we're gonna be looking at how to eliminate sensor dust from your images. After completing a photo shoot, I'm always excited to get my images onto my computer and then have a look at them inside of Photoshop to really see what I was able to capture. Unfortunately, due to environmental conditions such as wind, when I'm changing lenses, it's not uncommon that I might get sensor dust on my image sensor and that dust starts to show up in my images. In fact, let me show you here. I'll just zoom in and you can start seeing right here that we have sensor dust that is throughout the image. So what do we need to do in order to fix this sensor dust, to bring our image back to the pristine way that it looked when we were actually shooting the shot. Well, Photoshop provides us with a couple of tools that we can use to easily reduce or eliminate the sensor dust altogether. Let me bring my layers palette here into view, and you can see that I have my original background layer. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a blank layer that's going to go right above our background layer because that's the layer we're gonna start making our sensor dust adjustments or changes to. We don't wanna work on the actual image and we don't wanna work on a copy of the image either. And in a moment, I'll show you why. So at the bottom of the layers palette, right to the left of the trash can is an icon and we wanna click on that to create a new blank layer and it's gonna put the layer right above our background layer. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna select from the tool palette, the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And you can see that this tool, actually when you click and hover over it, has four tools underneath it. But we want this very first tool, the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Now when we click on this tool, we're gonna to see up in the upper toolbar some choices that we get to make. Now I happen to be working in Photoshop CS5 and a new addition was added to Photoshop CS5 and that is content aware for our brush. And so that's what I'm going to select. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, you're gonna to wanna to select the proximity match. Next, it's very important that you click the sample all layers because if you don't sample all the layers, when you start trying to make changes, there are no pixels here in this new blank layer, and so no changes are gonna be made to your image. You need to make sure that sample all layers has been checked on. Now, once I have these settings, what I wanna do is zoom into these areas where we actually have our sensor dust. So I'm just gonna grab my zoom tool here, and let's go into this area right here. Now I am working on the blank layer and I do have the spot healing brush tool selected and I'm just gonna start brushing through the area. And as I do, in a moment, you're gonna see that those areas are now going to be automatically blended. Now what we wanna do is, I'm gonna actually shrink the brush down just a little bit by tapping my left bracket key and I'm gonna get the brush just a little bit larger than the area of the sensor dust that I wanna remove, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what's happening is Photoshop is looking at the area where the brush is hovered over, and it is looking at the surrounding pixels next to the sensor dust, and when I click, it's gonna go ahead and blend those pixels all together so that we can completely eliminate these areas. Again, you can also click and drag through some of these areas, but we do have to be careful because I'll show you here in a moment that sometimes we'll get a little bit of bleeding in areas that we really didn't want to have happen and we're not going to get the results we were looking for. So I'm just going to go through and kind of clean some of these areas up. Now the reason that we're working on a blank layer, and I'll just turn this on and off, is if at any time I don't like one of the changes that was made, I can of course do an edit and an undo, and that'll undo or step backwards, but I can also select the eraser tool, and I can come in and just erase those changes that I made here on this layer. So it gives me a lot of flexibility when working on a blank layer. Had I duplicated this image and then started painting on it, I would have actually been painting away part of the image and that's really not the effect that I wanna have going on. So it's always a good idea to use the blank layer as I've done here. 
but I'm just gonna undo that here for a moment and then I'm gonna pan through the image just a little bit and I'm panning by holding down the space bar which is gonna change the cursor into the hand tool. Once again, I'm gonna grab my spot healing brush and I'm just gonna go through and start healing some of these areas once again. And we'll just go ahead and make our changes. Now I wanna show you an area where the spot healing brush isn't going to be our best selection and we might have to resort to another tool inside of Photoshop. I'm just gonna zoom back out and this time I'll move my layers palette over here to the left because there's an area right down here I want to zoom in to show you. We'll go ahead and zoom in and you can see that the sensor dust is right along the mountain ridge here of this mountain in the background. Well, if I go ahead and I grab my spot healing brush and I click on that, you'll all of a sudden see, well, it's starting to affect actually the terrain of the mountain. It's not doing exactly what we wanted it to do. The correction is not bad, but it's not perfect. So what I'm gonna do is just step backwards by doing a control or command Z. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another tool from the tool palette. I'm gonna grab the clone stamp tool. Now, once again, when we grab this new tool, the options choices are gonna change. We wanna make sure that we've got our aligned checked, and we also wanna make sure that we're sampling the current layer and below. If we just have the current layer selected, I'll go ahead and select that. I'm gonna make a sample point, and to do that, I'm gonna click and hold the Option or Alt key down. That's gonna give me a sampling area, and then I'm gonna hover over the area, and as I click, nothing's gonna happen because it's actually sampling from this blank layer. We actually need to sample from the current layer and below because it's the image below or the layer below that we're trying to correct. So again, I'm gonna hold down that Option or Alt key and click. And what I wanna do is position my cursor or mouse right in between the ridge of this mountain in the background and also the sky. And when I do, then I can just hover that over the area that I wanna fix. And with a quick click, I can go ahead and clean that up and still maintain the terrain of the mountain in the background. So once again, we're gonna be alternating between using the spot healing brush and also using our clone stamp tool. But you'll find that these two tools are a really big help to you when you're fixing sensor dust on your image. Well, thank you for joining me today, and I hope that this tutorial will help you when it comes to removing sensor dust from your images.